Um, so I'm here with Patrick Green, and you uh, were the cinematographer for uh, Grindhouse. Hello. Yes, that's true. Uh, we shot Grindhouse. It was a, a nice Cabin in the Woods uh, short film. Uh, it's very uh, stylish. Yeah. How did you come uh, about the project? How did you get aboard that? Uh, so I had spoken to uh, the two producers were uh, Austin Vitrione and Danielle Saruvi had reached out uh, looking for uh, DPs. I applied and talked to them about their concepts about how uh, they really wanted to reflect sort of <clears throat> early 70s grindhouse cinema um, in the look and feel of it, which mm -hmm. uh, is a style I appreciate um, going very handheld, very, um, uh, you know, sort of into the sort of gore and action if you will um that sort of uh thing um they had reached out sent me the script uh you know storyboarded it up and that was kind of it austin was the director danielle was the producer and uh yeah it's pretty exciting i think they were pretty young if i could remember correctly i think they had they were uh students not too long ago and they had a student film in the festival i think Oh yes, yes, uh -huh. they're up and coming for sure. Yeah, uh, they they've got another uh, option coming. Um, a creature is stirring. I think they're doing a Christmas horror picture. Uh, no, yes, always love those. I love the Christmas yeah, horror. The films, it's uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. Okay. Uh, there's not enough of them. Uh, my, I I teach film in high school, and the the kids like doing like a like a high school Krampus movie. Mm -hmm. We got this Krampus mask, and they they love doing it. So just what keep kind doing of it. Did you go for? Did you go horns over? Lots of fur hanging down? No, it was just a mask that they had they uh, that we had in the classroom, mm -hmm. and and we just went from there. Uh, two years ago, they did you know Krampus uh, on campus on, in the high school, and it was funny, campy, funny, and you know they all did. It's a high school film, so it's not you know the best thing, but. But then the next year, they're like, we want to do a sequel. But then they went all dark on this one. <laughs> oh, okay. Like the like an asylum. They made the school into like asylum and dark and the blue lighting because I showed them like different lighting and totally different. But like one actor survived. So like, let's bring him and have him be accused of murder and go to an asylum. I'm like, whatever. Let's go. <laughs> is, that, is that in the Saturday block? Um, that, that one is earlier in the day for the high school. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, it's a small little high school film, but um, it's a, it was a lot of fun doing it, and they had a blast. So um, I love doing it. And the, the kids love horror, but I guess for them, learning and filming like horror stuff and learning how to do it, it's it's a pretty cool thing. Right, and I think it's a very like easy thing to get into because I think it's yeah. like the horror allows you to get very for shorts. Uh, you can get very exclamative in like what you're doing. You can just have like one very strong image. To pull together this whole short, just one reveal, one you know, yeah, one murder, one monster <laughs> being whatever a face, and that's all you need, kind of thing. You know? And they they always, even though we have all these tripods, they like the handheld, like <laughs> you know, it, it happens. <laughs> Listen, when <clears throat> for for Grindhouse, I think we shot for three days, mm -hmm. uh, three or four days, and it was like 30 pages, you know? So we really? a lot of setup. We were getting a lot of setups. Uh, um, <clears throat> I was I was shooting on the FX3, so that mm -hmm. allowed me to be very, it's very nimble, you know, it's a very mm -hmm. small body, but it's still a cinema, you know, not like move, whatever, yeah. um, you know, so it lets you to kind of, oh, we're doing this, choo, choo, choo. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna run over here, I'm gonna do this. Um, and we were shooting in this cabin, it was a, it's called the Cream Ridge Cabin. Yeah. Um, really nice place uh they're trying to they're trying to shoot a lot of films i know they shot another one there um but it's this lovely uh wood cabin very high ceilings skylights so you get this lovely natural light was great oh, wow. and they had like a balcony so i had determined because we had a lot of pages that we weren't going to set up any stands like and be moving lights like on the floor mm. like we'd be lighting everything from sort of the balcony up there oh right? wow yeah, very, and yeah, and I had uh, the grip. John Lepus was there, who's very good, um, helping me out moving the C stands. We had, so I basically had you know a light up there, like you know a big blue ball sort of to do the moonlight, and then had a you know more directional sort of red light to give it you know a little a little harder light from the angle. 
And then, How do you make it to uh, the camera, make it look to that like 70s look to it uh, with, with the lenses? Or is that more after uh, the fact, after filming? Or uh, how does that go about? I mean, that's that's a lot of the editing. I think I think mm -hmm. Austin did a lot of work in post to just, you know, well, he did a lot of work because, you know, mm -hmm. the, the FX3 gets a very clean image and like low light, which is kind of one of the reasons I shot it like mm -hmm. that. You know, and they shoot it wide open, you know, we shoot it at like a 2.5 or whatever. And then, you know, you get a very shallow depth of field, which looks nice. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. You know, I'm always I'm always interested in that kind of stuff. And then yeah, try to at a grade and, you know, texture and stuff. And yes. And then, yeah. So how is the so it looks uh, before they go to the editing? How did how is the look of it? You just said low lighting. What else? Like, uh. So I had kind of a very uh, stylized lighting setup, mm. you know, very hard. We had sort of the key light was just blue, and then mm. the fill light was honestly red from a lot of places. And then I also cool. had sort of smaller lights where I would kind of get sort of the white light in here every once in a while just to kind of like punch up the faces and, you know, close-ups and stuff like that, um, you know. Used to let it just soft nan tube lights, you know, because there's... A lot of stuff in the basement where mm. you, know, you kind of want to hide the light yeah you want to illuminate the basement without it being like oh there's obviously a bunch of lights going on you know so you do kind of soft tubes over the doorways and you know under the you know there's one part where she's trying to escape through the bilco doors and you know you just have to slip something up there very casually um uh, but yeah, yeah. It's not easy to not like, easy yeah you know I love I love a good Dario Argento film. So it was very, you know, the lighting is very it's it's a little jello. You know? Yeah, 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 for sure. It, it's always yeah. But in horror films, you know, you're, a lot of times you're shooting in the dark, so it's like it is strange. Like it's like where what kind of lighting are we using, and where are we going to place it? It's a, it's a, not easy, not easy to decide. And you have to stick with what you you choose, right? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So you said it was three days. Uh, yes, I think it was. I think it was three or four days. Yes, we did. Uh, yeah. so that's a lot, like thirty pages. Yes, yeah, mm. and there was a uh, yeah. We uh, we shot we shot a lot of stuff, and there mm. were a lot of uh, <clears throat> practical applications. Um, yeah, so that was a lot. You know, there's you know some. Well, you know, there's 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 a lot of different gore techniques that are had to be applied, and et cetera, et cetera, and you know tubing had to be threaded through things and it, you know it was, a, it was a very technical process for a lot of a lot of yeah a lot did of you things, a lot of, yeah it was did, it was very it was good it was good did you like review or like see some scenes from some grindhouse beforehand just a little review oh sure I definitely i definitely watched uh, last house on the left you know that's kind of the touchstone as if you go back and like for grindhouse on but yes, uh, you know, a lot of Toby Hooper stuff. Yeah. Stuff today, sort of the very handheld, you know, square format, 35 mils, shaky, just sort of, <laughs> you know. Like, I mean, I still watch, I mean, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I still watch it. It still scenes of it make me sick. Because it's yeah. so, like, you know, you're right there. And you know that, like, <clears throat> all the remains of the animals on the wall are just sticking everything up and everybody's just ill because they're there and you're just like oh this is just yeah mm -hmm. this should not be shown in like a proper cinema you know <laughs> this should not be played next to minions yeah that's right it, it, it fits the horror set well though <laughs> yes i know okay yeah but it is uh, it is tough that if you put it in like little drama set or like like just <laughs> nice little fills and then boom, you know. <laughs> but then you also get to do the drama because, you know, so many of them are just, yeah. you know, high school, oh, I have this crush on this person, mm -hmm. but I'm dating this person. <laughs> and then I, oh, are they going to tell this person what's going to happen? Axe in the face. And then, like, that solves that problem. <laughs> and then the final girl and the final guy end up together. That's, you know, it's, a, it's the same plot, but just different yeah. resolutions. Was there a lot of uh, stuff that you shot that you had to cut out uh, that there was cut out? Because I mean, it's still a long film, and you said thirty pages, but it's still pretty long. So, did they leave a lot in? 
uh, there was some exterior stuff uh, mm -hmm. earlier in the woods that, uh, you know, I guess, you know, wasn't, they didn't use it for whatever mm -hmm. reason. Um, but I think that was kind of it. There was a lot of, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. I think, I think we got, I think we got it all. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Uh, did you ever shoot anything like that before with the, the grindhouse look to it? <clears throat> well, I had done a couple of horror movies, but uh, they were mostly supernatural mm -hmm. uh, horror movies. Um, you know, like I had done this one uh, called the path that was this, you know, these sisters, their parents die. They have this farmhouse. There's ghosts here. You know, is there, you know, Satanists in the backyard, et cetera, et cetera. And it's very exciting because that's actually premiering next year. It's having its New York or New Jersey uh, screening premiere September 12th, which is very cool. Oh. Screening in July 19th and then it's streaming everywhere. Which is oh, where, where is that going to be? Where is it? Uh, I'm not sure where the screenings are, but uh, oh. there's one in New Jersey, then one in LA, and then it's going to be streaming cool. after that. Oh, cool. Which is very cool. Yes. Yeah. Very, Both. Uh, yeah. Directed by. Uh, Todd Bart Jenkin, yeah, man. Produced by Brian Arnott, Steve, you know, Scarpaccio. Yeah. Was, that a sh was that a short or a feature? That's a feature. Cool. Which is very exciting because yeah, that was that one was kind of because I do have a feature right now. It's called Sixty Miles North, mm -hmm. so that's available on Amazon Prime Video. Like if you want to rent or buy that, uh, that was a feature which I had shot uh, in New York, in Newburgh. It's you know the story of this. Uh, uh, actor who gets like the gig of a lifetime, like <clears throat> all based on his true story, he ends up um, landing the cash cab gig, mm -hmm. then gets it like revoked for like stuff in his past, but he has to move back to his home. Like his parents have sold the house, it's gone in 30 days, so he has to figure out what to do. And mm -hmm. they've sold his like childhood bedroom, they're renting it to this woman who has like chronic illness. Uh -huh. So, you know, that's, that's a very interesting, that was a good family drama. I think that one was very strong and like turned out very well. That was a, uh, yeah, Ed Crawford, Audrey Kovash, yeah, a lot of people. Jack Mulcahy. Jake no, Mulcahy. I love Jack. Yeah, Jack's Jack's probably gonna be there Saturday night. He's gonna. Oh uh, yes, I, I yes. think I saw that. What's he? What's no. he doing there? Uh, so we have like a retrospective of like films over the past ten years. This is our ten year anniversary. Right. And and he was uh and he's been in a lot of films over in the past. So he he. We put one in that won an award ages ago. Uh -huh. So, uh, so yeah, so Saturday night from like five to seven and then like 7.30 to 9.30, uh, there's four different sets of films over the past 10 years. Wow, okay. So it's uh, it, 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 good stuff, well, good sets because they all won some sort of award um, over the 10 year period. Right. So uh, yeah, so he's got the one in there, and so we'll, it'd be good. it's always good to see him. He he comes to the bright side uh, quite often. <laughs> wow. So, okay. Great. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. So uh, that, that's cool. So he's in. He was in that. So that's on Amazon. Yes. Yes. He plays. He plays the father. Oh. So when he goes back, he's like, he's like, so he like picks him up. He literally picks him up from jail. He's like, son, what what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? They sit in the car, and he's like, son. Get your get your life together. You <laughs> yeah, so I gotta well, I gotta go watch that because I I've seen most of his stuff. I didn't see that one, so I'm definitely gonna check that out. Yeah, sixty miles north. It's uh yeah, soon soon to be classic. I think. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then yeah, so that's exciting. So you got that out there, and you got the path coming out. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen. You know, there's a lot of films called the path, but I recently it's seen some advertisements on online. Facebook what? or Instagram or something called the path. And I was wondering maybe I, that was that that's I I've been seeing them too. Oh, so and I'm very excited. Cause I was like, that's, I did that. You, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's, that's cool going to, which was first New York or LA, which is the first one. Uh, the first one is New Jersey. Oh, New Jersey, like New Jersey. And then in LA. Then the LA, it's a week. It's the 12th and then the 19th of September. Wow. It's, it's like the same week. <laughs> yeah it's pretty cool uh yeah that's a good feeling i was just out in la for about a week uh when school and we students we had a, a film out at dances so i love going to dances with films and spend a little bit more time there this year uh because it's summertime so i can't <laughs> but uh so that that's always fun but uh i haven't gotten out there too much more of it just kind of always here most of the time but 
Um, no, we were excited to show the film Grindhouse. It, it was I enjoyed it, and uh, it's pretty wild. <laughs> yes, I'm I'm excited for the block. I saw there was uh, some good good uh, things were programmed next to. Yeah, it's like it's funny because uh, usually the the horror it's hit or miss, I guess. Sometimes like some we used to do it like Saturday night because we we get a good horror crowd Saturday night and right. have like its own special screening. But uh, it did something different this time, so it's a little, during the day, I don't know, hard during the day. It's not as more exciting as like nighttime, but uh, well, uh, you know, it's like, listen, it's, it's nice <laughs> that they're programmed kind of next to each other. Yeah, I tried it, and then sometimes you get more horror and maybe more like some are thrillers or some are not quite horror, and you try to fit it in. But I always try to get that horror block, no matter what. I, I try my best to fit some sort of horror block. I, I call it like sort of horror. Right. <laughs> maybe just thriller or darker films or something like that but uh but we get a good horror crowd that's why it's just uh they, they come yeah, in droves the right? fan base you know they love yeah. their they love their stuff they do and it's 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 a lot of fun and then like i i forgot that there's the horror con going on in edison that that on saturday and well on sunday too but that's saturday night as well so mm. i guess which is a good thing I didn't plan it on Saturday night because you know that's a lot of films playing Saturday night there. So Sunday they can all come over to the bright side. There you <laughs> go. Yeah. So uh, yeah, absolutely. So uh, anything you're working on right now? Uh, right now, I'm just uh, writing scripts, uh, writing a lot of the just you know I've got I've got this one feature slasher where it's you know the slasher set at you know. Uh, festival celebrating a long running slasher franchise uh, so that's you know i have that in sort of the final stages and then uh the 60 miles north team we're planning on shooting another feature coming up you know? oh wow that'd be cool ideally by the end of the month oh i yes well the ap and three i'm going to shoot a short film with that me and my wife usually shoot something uh every year um yeah. uh but i i think the last week of August, I might be doing a Lovecraft romance. No, oh. <laughs> detective noir movie. I think. Cool. Fingers crossed. I think. I think I might be doing that. Yes. Oh, those are those are fun, man. They're fun to watch anyway. The, the, the noir, the detective yeah. noirs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I tried. Oh, that's one thing I tried to get the students. You know, show them what a noir is and and go through that. And the one group, like these three guys, they made they made a pretty funny. Uh, at the end of the year, so it was like we were running out of time, but they made a little funny new war. <laughs> right. Okay. And uh, it's always fun to watch those, like high schoolers trying to pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing great, but it it was funny. Uh, and, and everyone got a kick out of it because they knew what they were trying to do. Mm -hmm. They not have, you know, executed it the best way. But <laughs> yeah. But it's always fun making it. They had a blast doing it, you know, doing yeah, it, the, yeah. the old voices and the voiceover and the music and everything. Yeah, like a made, a made short film is better than no short film at all. Yeah, it's a good learning experience, but I, I just thought I, I got a kick out of them doing the film noir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. You do like, you get all like the smoky set and stuff like that. And I, I, do, love, I do love a good hazer. I do yeah. Love Good, I do love wafting some good diffusion. <laughs> Shooting through the uh, the blinds, maybe, or things like yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> I, like, I love getting those hard streaks, you know? I love it. That's I know. I was when you said comedy of a, a noir comedy, my first thought was, you know, you have you have the lights, you do like a close up, and then you do like a, a wide shot and it's just, you know, Venetian blinds just hanging on like nothing. <laughs> That's all it is, and it's just like, oh, excuse me. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, so that, that sounds good. And you got a lot going on, and it should be fun uh, next week. And we're, we're excited to show the film and, and get to see all the people coming. So that's my favorite part. It's all the filmmakers and uh, people in the industry coming to hang out. Yeah, that's my favorite, too. It's just, you know, meeting people, you know, that I've never met, obviously, then, you know, seeing old friends, too. So how can people uh, get in touch with you or do you have any uh, handles or uh, websites or anything where if, if they're looking for uh, a DP or, or anyone to work with? Uh, usually uh, Instagram works for me uh, at Patrick Green, G-R-E-E-N-E, -E -E, creative. 
Uh, but that's that's always a good spot. Or you could just find me on Facebook. Uh, you know, Patrick Green. Uh, you'll you'll see me. It's it's you know, it's it's what I've I've that obnoxious photo where it's it's I have me with a steady cam. It's, it's <laughs> if you're scrolling, you're like, oh, this guy, Ugh, this guy. <laughs> yeah, I got one of those. So. You should you, you can find me easily. So that's how they, they when they were looking for somebody they they did they know you or they they reached out to you or or did you apply or I forget what you said before earlier. Uh, for the grindhouse. No, I, I I reached out to them. Oh, and, cool. Yes, yes, yes. They I saw. They were looking for somebody. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then I just sent them the reel, sent them you know, talked it over with them, and yeah. Very cool. Very well. And I'm, no. and I'm very excited for people to see it. It's, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to do a film in kind of every genre. So I'm kind of ticking them off. You know, yeah. I've got sort of murdered, resurrect, possession ghosts, you know, I've got, <laughs> you know, haunted ghost under the table murder, you know, I've got like, you know, cabin in the woods, mm -hmm. you know, I've got family drama, you know, it's, you know, it's it's good. I like I like moving in and out. You know, I I would love to do some more romance or something. You know, yeah. nobody does romance anymore. No, it, like, it's it's very know, rare. I don't know. I don't That's know. Not too much. Yeah, and it's hard in the movie theaters too. Like they don't really see too many romance anymore. They like go right to like either Netflix or Prime Video or. Right, 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 right. They don't. They got to get them to do well again out in a the theater. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, you know, you, you've either got a giant blockbuster or the latest A24. Exactly, like, yeah. which is like Long Legs is doing very well and making money, and then Daredevil, I mean, that's it. <laughs> Can't even make a Western anymore and do well in a movie theater. No, no. Yeah. Unfortunate. Uh, well. But, uh, yeah, well, thanks for giving me, you know, a few minutes of your time today, and it was great, and... Uh, excited to uh, see everyone in in a week yeah i mean thanks for having me uh yep. go see grindhouse you know rent 60 miles north go see the path when it comes out you know all the things i think mansion eel house is still that's another short i did that's playing around you know some places cool. uh, yeah all right i will see everybody you know yeah. on sunday great thanks so much all right thanks for having me bye yeah